Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we are going to be looking at how to white balance non-raw footage in post-production inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now this is definitely not a replacement for getting your shot right in the first place, but if you need to tweak stuff a little bit, this can really get you out of a pickle, especially whenever you're like matching shots between cameras, good little trick. And it just sort of shows some good techniques you should know if you want to be a professional colorist. So let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and get started. So here is a shot of Fat Mo's Burgers. Oh my goodness. If you are in Nashville, you need to go here. It's like my favorite place in the world. So white balancing this, you can see it's a little bit warmer than it probably should be, to be correct. So in order to fix this, what we're going to do is make sure we have... In our color wheels tab, select our primary bars, and this will make our job super easy. So primary bars, step one. Step two, get your scopes up. If they're not already up, just right click, show scopes, and then make sure that your parade is selected. So now here you can see pretty easily, we've got our red channel, green channel, blue channel, and each of these channels corresponds horizontally along the image. So you can see the left side of the image is darker than the middle of the image. You can see that sort of corresponded to each of these graphs. And when you look at this, you see that our red channel is elevated a little bit above our green channel, and both those are way above the blue channel. So that's sort of indicative of sort of improper white balance. So in order to fix this, it's really pretty easy because these channels correspond right with these little sliders here. So we're only gonna correct the highlights because that's all you really need to do with white balancing. Make it a little more subtle. You can do it other ways. You can try it out, experiment on your own. But for this, just gonna twiddle with the gain. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring the blues up and you'll see the trace over here move up. And I'm just using the scroll wheel for this for little adjustments. Then I can move the green up a little bit and you just sort of keep twiddling these around until they match. You probably look at the image some because see the scopes show it being pretty nice, but the image looks probably a little bit blue for my taste. Uh, this is probably pretty close to white, but it just feels blue. So I'm going to remove some of that, add some of that yellow back in. I've been, and now it's looking pretty good to me. And we can A, B this. So before and after, and you can see that is a much more white balanced image. This is a little cooler stylistically, but you know, sometimes people want stuff to look white balanced ish. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. And if you want some fantastic tools for all of your color grading and other sort of making stuff pretty your needs, go to MeesterMedia.com slash products. We've got House LUTs and the Bright Light Sight Leak Pack, which both excellent. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends because this is a handy dandy little trick that will save your butt lots of times and a lot of headache of twiddling around with stuff and things and annoyances. You just go over here. You saw it was pretty easy. Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.